Um, so what about cyber insurance? Oh boy. Um, what value does it really offer a CISO? Mm. So I think that, that one's tough, right? So <laughs> cyber insurance, I, I think you should have it. It will normally pay out something to kind of cover some of your losses. But I think one of the things that we talk a lot about with cyber insurance is, you know, you can't, you can't depend on them to get you back up and running. Like when you have a cyber incident, they come in, they may be your first or second call, right? They come in, they're looking in the rear view mirror. They're looking at yeah. what happened, gathering forensics, all in the context of, do we pay this policy or do we not pay this policy? Right. Right. So I, what value does it really offer a CISO? Um, so I've seen, in order to answer that question uh, properly, I've seen a lot of CISOs use cyber insurance as a, a service uh, that they're subscribing to. And that's 100% not what it is, right? Cyber insurance, just like any insurance, is designed to help you recover loss. And to your point, um, you know, insurance companies are always looking in the rearview mirror, right? You need to be looking at the front windshield. So um, first of all, you need cyber insurance. I would 100%, you know, tell people do not go without it, right? Um, but you also need to, you know, look at your exclusions. And usually when I start talking about exclusions and I, and I ask somebody, you know, well, you know, what does your policy say as far as exclusions? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody really knows. No, it's complete silence because, you know, that's one of the things, you know, I think a lot of organizations just get those policies and, the, and they go, oh, yeah, here's the premium at 7000 a year. I've got a two and a half million dollar policy. So if I have an incident, I'm going to get a two and a half million dollar payout. Right. That's not the way it works. No, that is not how it works. Um, so I, it does bring value to a CISO. I think it, it, it helps supplement your program. But it's not a safety net. No, I wouldn't consider that that. No, not at all. No, no. I mean, it's, it's, it's there for loss. It's there for maybe your downtime that you're not making revenue or you've lost revenue or physical equipment has been damaged. Um, yeah, I think about the wrong thing you could do, too, with cyber insurance is use that as a leverage point to go into a boardroom and tell people, tell the board how safe you are because of your cyber insurance policy. No. That's going to go wrong. Yeah, real yeah. quick. That's yep. not good. Nope, absolutely.